Hi guys, in this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to create an eyeball in Blender 3.3. So firstly, let's start by deleting all the objects in the scene. Okay, so now let's add a UV sphere. Okay, that's a low poly count. So I'll add a subdivision surface modifier and set the levels view to 2. And then apply the modifier. Now I'm just going to shade smooth it. Okay, so now we have a higher poly count. So I'm just going to select these two edges. Oh, what, what happened? Oh, okay. And then I'm just going to select these two edges. Not edges, I mean loops. Okay, so and then I'm going to mark the edge seam. So this is going to help us with our UV editing later on. So you can click mark seam. Okay, it doesn't really matter what you select, vertex or edge. Okay, so that looks... Okay, so now I'm going to go to the UV editing. Yeah, so that's a spear. I'm going to go to the material properties. That's just a plain white. Yeah, so there we go. So now we can open our desired image. Right there. So I'm just going to open it. I just have to find it. Where is it? Oh yeah, there we go. Okay, so now we have a desired image of an eye. Okay, so now we want to make it go on the sphere. So I'm just going to tab in and select all and then unwrap the UV sphere. Now if you select L and then it'll select different parts. Oh, I forgot that shortcut bar. Okay, sorry. Okay. And then when you're done with that, oh, I'm done with that. So that's a sphere. We can go to the material properties and add the same desired image onto the material onto the image texture. So I'll just quickly select it. I have to find it first. I, I still can't see where it are. Okay. Okay, so that's the image. Okay, that looks more like a dragon's eye than a human eye. So that's why we have to firstly unwrap and then scale. The back part of the eye. Just gonna move it to the corner. And then get the front part of the eye and align it with the pupil. Okay, that's a way big pupil. Okay, I'm just gonna scale it up. That looks quite good. So that's our eyeball. Probably I'm just gonna rotate the eye because the reflection is the wrong way around. Yeah, that's a good reflection. I'm just going to scale it up. And if we scale it too high, you can see eyeballs coming out of the edge seam. So I'm just going to keep it at a fairly high size. I'm just going to go to the material properties. Okay, now if you rotate it by clicking double R, it rotates nicely. Okay, I have to set the roughness to, s to zero because it's not... Very shiny. Okay, that's better. And then I'm just going to increase the metallic. Okay, there's our eyeball. Hello. Okay. So I'm just going to go to the viewport shading. Okay, that is way too dark. So I'm just going to add a light. And I'm going to click an area light. Not click, I mean get an area light and then I'm gonna increase the number of watts okay that only lights up part of the eyeball and it'll get even worse so I'm just gonna add a camera and then click control alt numpad zero to bring it where you want I told you it's gonna get even worse you can't even see half of the eyeball so for that I'm just gonna duplicate the what do you call it light yeah and then rotate in the y 
y axis 180 degrees so it's upside down and then move it down that's so good I'm just gonna show you what it looks like so that's our eyeball okay if you rotate it currently I'm in Eevee so it doesn't work so I'm just gonna go to cycles and click on denoise that looks really good actually thanks guys for watching okay. see you later